My name is Zeke Matthew, and we're discussing my second film, Alien Rescue. Stay tuned. Well, at the time, I was thinking about sci-fi and how everything is about taking over the world or destroying the world. And I started thinking about what would you do if you actually found an alien you knew nothing about? This seemed like a very intriguing idea. So, in the original idea of Alien Rescue is that during the day, the alien would be normal, but at night, he would grow tall and be as tall as the tallest buildings in the city and destroy the city. Then, during the day, he would turn back to normal. This idea was scrapped because I could not get a good fight sequence in there, so I changed it to its current form. Mostly because I liked the designs of the characters and thought the struggle would be more interesting. This inspired me because I was wondering how to visually tell something without the characters saying anything. Sort of like an animal where they don't necessarily speak, but you can understand them through their action. That, and I wanted to know what it'd be like to create a silent character like Wally. Shh, they may be watching. This is based on a lot of sci-fi movies. Either the character is being afraid of the alien or some type of military shoots them down because they're a threat. So I asked the question, what is preventing us from seeing aliens? And as you see, Mr. Al was born to keep things under control because everything is a threat. This one I thought was interesting because I was thinking I wanted a fight sequence, but I needed the aliens split apart, so the inventor was invented to help split them apart. And what would happen if you had both an evil and good side split apart? What would you do with them? Yes, I noticed a lot of inspiration seemed to come from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I did not see before. But if you look at the struggle between the aliens, they represent them pretty well. I thought about why would aliens come to Earth, and what if it was not a threat, and that the alien lost everything, even within the story, the music really shines in giving this hopelessness. That would be making everything visually appealing because in the movie I could not change the head or mouth or anything in that area. So I had to work around that to get all the actions right. Well, I knew I wanted an action scene, but a lot of times movies would either portray the bad guy as this ultimate hero that can't be beat and won. Then, all of a sudden, he gets hit with a bat and dies. I always disliked that, so I wanted a scene in which both characters were both matched and you did not know who was gonna win. And a good example of this, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1, Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Joey, which the battle is intense, but you never know who was gonna win. Probably not, because I personally don't like to make sequels unless I need to. So I hope you enjoy the movie, and join us next Friday, where we will discuss without words, which will be in the video card above or in the description below. And if you have any further questions about Alien Rescue, put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.